Somebody was asking me what did I think about the Cross Care Charity. This was a charity founded in the 1940s by Archbishop McQuaid. And uh, today its board, non-executive board of directors are appointed by the Archbishop of Dublin. So it is a Catholic charity. It's, a, it's an Irish charity, Catholic charity. People are giving their money to this charity. And uh, but if we go and look at this Catholic charity, which has its board of directors appointed by the Archbishop of Dublin, we, we will see that, well, their youth services, you know, have very interesting approaches, especially when it comes to, you know, promoting Pride Month. I suppose this is where Catholic charities are going now, that we're going as woke as quickly as possible. And for anybody accusing me of being homophobic or bigoted or what have you against people like this. um, we, You know, I suppose if we're going to promote Pride Month, we might as well promote kids going out and, you know, having uh, nightclubs and, uh, you know, no, no strings attached sex and all this. I mean... Why are we just promoting one side of society and not promote all types of relationships? You know, let's let's, you know, as people go to mass on Sunday, let's start giving out condoms. Are we going to go a full way? Like, what is the point of Catholic teaching? What is the point of Christian spirituality? What is the point of a Catholic charity? I mean, I'm asking an honest question. If you're going to dip your foot in the water promoting this. OK, Um. You know, what's the point of Christian Catholic ethos in our charities anymore? Let's go full swing. Let's start putting condoms out in in uh, going to mass. Let's start promoting abortion services because the same groups that are that the same groups that promote Pride Month vehemently uh, promote pro-abortion. So are we just going to sit here on the fence? We're a bit in and a bit out. You know, we'll, we'll step in. Let's promote this. You know, happy Pride Month. Uh, a guide to all things gay. What about a guide to all things Catholic? Where is it on our Catholic Christian charity? This is a charity that's promoted. That's um, that the, the board of directors are are appointed by the Catholic Archbishop. You know, and this is the money Catholic money being, being used to do this. Where is the guide to all things Catholic on our Cross Care Youth Info? Where is the guide to prayer? Where is the guide to mental health? Where is the guide to male suicide prevention? I just thought it was very interesting. We go into this page. There's nothing in here for men. There's nothing. There's nothing addressing male uh, mental health, male suicide. Um, you know, a guide. Uh, very, very interesting. Um, but I suppose it's Catholic in all but name. It's cross care in all but name you know I, and, I, and again I'm not being you know we as the catechism said we treat everybody with dignity and respect not here uh, in making a uh, rant against any particular group or people I am asking where is the guide to all things Catholic on our Catholic websites and our Catholic charities what is the point of being Catholic you know, if you had a Muslim website and they all they are they all of a sudden started promoting all things pork related, I think a lot of Muslims would stand up and say, "What is the point? We don't. That's not part of our tradition. That's not part of our of our faith. You don't. Why are you promoting this?" Um, and again, I so I suppose I asked them, "What is the point in giving money to Dublin Catholic charities to this charity or to the archdiocese in Dublin if we're not going to use the money to support?" the Catholic faith, the Catholic ethos. We stand for something different to what the world stands for. We're not ashamed to say, look, the Catholic faith teaches, preaches this. This is the deposit of the faith. St. Paul asked us to act in a different way. Our Lord himself asked us, if you've looked at a woman with lust in your heart, you've committed adultery. Like, you know, if we're going to go down this route of a guide to all things gay, promoted and funded with Catholic money, where is the guide to all things Catholic? Where is the guide to them? If we're going to promote this, we'll look, I suppose we're only, what, 10 years away from condoms and abortion information at, at, at churches when they go in there. 
is this where we're heading? You know, it's about love and respect. But guys, we're, you know, love and respect and inclusivity. We're so inclusive now that we have dist- we have removed. We have removed the Catholic faith from the church. That's how inclusive we are. Um, but again, you know, this is where we are in the church today. This is where we are with, cro- with, with cross care, which again, I just want to make sh- people aware the governance structure the overall responsibility for the work of the agency is vested in our non-executive board board of directors who are appointed by the Archbishop of Dublin you know it's no different this charity is no different now to any other charity Oxfam or you know any of the other charities out there let's promote what the world is promoting Uh, you know the Catholic faith really has no place in our charities anymore does it we are called to act and live and align our lives to the truth, to, you know, the faith. That's what our charity should be doing. But that's life. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's, and if you call it out for what it is, you know, you'll be blasted. And so, okay. So we, but I suppose I, I do want to ask the question, what is the point? What is the point of a Catholic charity? What values do we promote as Catholics, as Christians anymore? Do we not stand for, you know, pro-life, pro-family? You know, do we not stand to, uh, in, in, in contrast to this woke world, to you know, which every, every couple of years seems to be inventing it, reinventing itself with new values uh, because the LGBT movement uh, goes hand in hand with the pro-abortion movement and they make no apologies out about it at all we've seen it time and time again and i think we're just five or six years away from cross care promoting abortion might as well the way it's going uh but sure anyway uh, please pray for this charity um you know we should be using our catholic funds our um catholic charities to unashamedly promote the catholic faith or what are we do what is the point of having the faith at all what is the point in using our resources for i mean because the woke world has endless amounts of money they'll promote anything that they want to do uh, and you know i still think catholics are allowed to be catholics you know and promote the catholic faith you know or or where are we going Are we going to arrive now, what, to hand out condoms and give abortion information as people go to churches? Let's put it up in the notice board there. Hand out abortion uh, morning after pills while we're at it. Like, where does it stop? Like, honestly, guys, where does it stop? Like, I asked a simple question. What's stopping the church if 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 we're following this route? Sure. Where does it stop? Are we going to be doing charity fundraisers now to to raise funds for um, teenagers that want to transition? You know, let's do a GoFundMe in churches now for teenagers that want to tra- transition. Like, really, guys, like if we start down this, where are we where are we ending up? What are we going to do? You know, really, really and truly. We're like, what is the point of the faith? What are the point of, of forming consciences and teaching them? What is the faith at the end of the day? I ask the question because, you know, we start down this route. Where does it logically lead to? What is the end of this? And again, it's not attacking any particular group. You know, saying that uh, I you know, you know, I don't agree with <laughs> with the, the what Muslims say about not eating pork doesn't mean I'm islamophobic or anything like that i just say no we we have a faith you know our christian faith calls us to act in a particular way to align our lives to that faith to align our lives to what our lord is asked is calling us to um so you know that's just standing up for what still is in the catechism of the church but i find it fascinating that we will spend money publishing the guide to all things gay and yet, you know, this is this is what's being published on Catholic charity website. I kid you not. So we have a guide to this. 
uh, all the symbology and all the stereotypes and myths and everything like this. And yet, where's the guide to all things Catholic? Where's the guide to prayer? Where's the guide to the sacraments? Where's the guide to knowing Christ more? Interesting time. God bless you. Take care. Bye bye.